boys and girls stand for the pledges. Right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believes. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. Remain standing. We are going to sing the Star Spangled Banner. Gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming. country this of the We are getting ready to begin Bible. Prayer positions. Dear God, thank you for looking after us. Thank you for loving each and every one of us here. God, we pray that you will help us to learn and to grow. We ask all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us review your Bible verses. F. Fear not, for I am with thee. G. God is love. H. Honor thy father and thy mother. K. Keep thy thumb from evil. L. Look unto me and be ye saved. M. My son. Give me thine heart. And no man can serve two masters. You, unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. S. Seek ye the Lord, while ye may be found. Your new Bible first. Listen carefully. Why? Ye are the light of the world. Matthew 5, 14. Class, listen carefully. Ye are the light of the world. Matthew 5, verse 14. Together with me. Ye are the light of the world. Matthew 5, verse 14. Together, ye are the light of the world. Matthew 5, 14. One last time. Ye are the light of the world. Matthew 5 verse 14. Remember, every day we are going to practice this Bible verse so that on Friday we can do our Bible oral. 
Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He made me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Peter and to James and John in a sailboat. Peter and to James and John in a sailboat. Peter and to James and John in a sailboat. Out on the deep blue sea. Fish all night, but they caught no fishes. Fish all night, but they caught no fishes. Fish all night, but they caught no fishes. Out in the deep blue sea. Christ the Lord came into the sailboat. Christ the Lord came into the sailboat. Christ the Lord came into the sailboat. Out on the deep blue sea. Cast your nets for a job, said Jesus. Cast your nets for a job, said Jesus. Cast your nets for a job, said Jesus. Out on the deep blue sea. Their nets were full of fishes, then their nets were full of fishes, then their nets were full of fishes, out on the deep blue sea. Jesus said, I will make you fishers, fishes of men instead of fishes. Jesus said, I will make you fishers if you will follow me. was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in the sycamore tree to the Lord he wanted to see. And as a Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree, and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today, for I'm going to your house today. You guys love this song. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. There's a Savior up above, and He's looking down with love. So be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Jesus died upon the tree, and he said, come unto me. So be careful, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you do. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you do. Jesus did the work for all, you need back to be his call. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you do. Oh, be careful, little tongue, what you say. Oh, be careful, little tongue, what you say. There's a Savior up above, and He's looking down with love. So be careful, little tongue, what you say. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. There's a Savior up above, and He's looking down. So be careful, little feet, where you go. Boys and girls, do you remember last week we spoke about a very special visitor? going to the city of Jericho? 
where crowds of people gathered to see this special visitor. Who was he? Do you remember who this special visitor was? Yes, Jesus. Remember we also spoke about a man who was very troubled because he could not see Jesus? It wasn't because he was blind, but it was because he was so short that he could not see over the crowds to glimpse to get a glimpse of the Lord Jesus. The Bible says that this man whose name was Zacchaeus was little in stature. Zacchaeus had a very big beautiful house with lots of possessions. Remember he had no friends because he was a chief publican in Jericho. He was a tax collector and no one liked a tax collector because tax collectors made themselves rich by cheating the people. People didn't speak to him and when they saw him on the streets they would whisper, here comes that short little cheater Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was not only short, but like us, he was short of the glory of God. But, he need, but his need for forgiveness was great in his heart. Zacchaeus scurried around ahead of the crowd. He ran down the road until he came to a sycamore tree. Remember he climbed up on top to the top of that tree and pulled himself out on a limb? Now he had the ringside seat. He could see everything. He could see the whole crowd and most of all he could see Jesus. Jesus might not be able to see him but he could see Jesus. He didn't care if the people in the crowd did laugh at him or if he tore his clothes. This was his one chance to see Jesus and he wanted desperately to see this wonderful person that everyone was talking about and some people even thought he might be their Messiah. When Jesus and the crowd arrived at the sycamore tree, Jesus looked up into the tree and called him by name. He said, Zacchaeus, come down. I want to go home with you today. Can you imagine how surprised Zacchaeus must have been? Jesus knew his name. He called Zacchaeus by name. How did Jesus know it? And how did Jesus know that Zacchaeus wanted so much to talk to him? We can answer that question because Jesus knows everybody's name and he knows where we are and what we are. Whether we're up in a tree, in a boat on a crowded city street, or in our own bedroom, he knows just where we are. We can't hide from him and we can't run away from him because he is the all-seeing God. He is looking for us and he wants to do something wonderful for us. Jesus knew what Zacchaeus was too. He knew all about him, his cheating, his lying, his unhappiness, his loneliness and his desire for somebody to help him. Because Jesus can look into our hearts and minds. He can see the sin that is there, the selfishness, the obedience. Sorry, the disobedience, the unkindness, the bad thoughts, and the desire to have our way instead of his. And 
he was the only one who can do something for Zacchaeus' sinful heart. When Jesus got to Zacchaeus' home, it was a beautiful house. We can only imagine how Zacchaeus treated Jesus as he took him into his own home, asking servants to bring him cool drinks and the best food for his most important guests. We don't know all that Jesus said to Zacchaeus as they sat down, but Zacchaeus probably poured his heart to Jesus, asking him if he was too wicked or too sinful for Jesus to help. And we know that Zacchaeus was born into God's family because Jesus said, this day, Salvation Day, is come to this house. This despised tax collector had real faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and recognized him as the Son of God and his Savior. Not only was Jesus completely forgiven, but the Lord Jesus changed him and made him entirely different. He was a new man. Zacchaeus said, Lord, from now on, I'm going to give half of all that I possess to the poor. And if I have overcharged anyone on his taxes, I am going to give it back four times as much as I took. And so the new change and different tax collector went on all over the city making changes. He made the things right to the people he had wronged. With all the people of Jericho must have been talking about what Jesus had done for Zacchaeus. Do you think we could ever see that Zacchaeus was a new man? Yes, by the way he lived and acted, Zacchaeus showed that Jesus had worked a miracle in his heart and life. Do you think he had any friends now who came to see him? I think he did. I wonder if any of us feel that we need to be changed. What about the selfishness, wrongdoings, wrong thinking, and unkindness that fill our hearts, and the pride that cause us to lose our temper, and say mean and disrespectful things or ugly words? Do we realize that we cause a lot of unhappiness when we fuss and argue and put down our friends and family? No, we haven't robbed a bank or broken into a house to steal, but some of these sins in our hearts are just as bad in God's sight, and they grieve him very much. He can't cleanse us from these sins or change us unless we admit that we are there and ask him to forgive us and rule on the throne of our lives. He wants us to show others that we belong to him and it is by the way we live and act that other people know that God has worked a miracle in our lives. Zacchaeus was a wee little man and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in the sycamore tree to the Lord he wanted to see. And as a Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today. For I'm going to your house today. 